Hello and welcome to our lesson on bar charts. So we're going to create a bar chart of this data here. And to begin with, we're going to have a linear vertical scale of a frequency which goes up to a frequency of 9. And next, I'm going to label the horizontal axis the type of pet. And the bars along the horizontal axis have to be an equal width with the same equal gap between them. You can see the dot has a frequency of 7, so I'm going to draw a bar which is 7 high on the dog category. And the cat has a frequency of 9, so I'll draw a bar which is 9 high. Do you want to create the bars for the guinea pig, the rabbit and the other by making a copy of this grid and resuming the video when you're ready? Okay, so here we have a bar chart of the type of pet. You can see the highest bar is cat, which means this is the most common the modal average type of pet, and rabbit and other are the least common, so these have the shortest height. Okay, let's move on to creating a dual bar chart. So in this question, we're going to create a dual bar chart to show the favorite mobile phone manufacturers in 2007 and 2012. To do this, we need to show 2007 using purple bars and 2012 using orange bars. So you can see Nokia has a frequency in 2007 of 20, so I'll draw a bar which is 20 high in Nokia. And in 2012 the frequency is 3, so I'll draw a bar next in 2007 which is 3 high. Okay, do you want to try and complete the bars for Samsung, iPhone, Sony and HTC? By pausing the video and you can resume it when you're ready. So the differences you can see over time is that Nokia and Sony decreased in sales, whereas iPhone and Samsung increased in sales. HTC also increased in sales. This could be because of the development of iOS and Android as operating systems, as well as many other factors. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.